been a lot um, happening since the um, the uh, mission was started in um, um, in 2000 and um, and and, and six, 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 16. Uh, you may recall <clears throat> Prime Minister's time uh, making the announcement of the steps of Parliament, and it was quite a um, it, was, it was quite a special moment really at the time. Um, and so there's been a lot a lot happening. If you asked a whole lot of people at the time, could we do this? Um, and and how much of a of um, of a stretch was this? Uh, the general consensus is that um, either no or or one or one or one one very hef hefty stretch and um, um, sort of was was um, described as a moonshot or something similar to that. It was such a big such a big stretch, but progress is being made and um, and and hopefully the um, um, you know, the this uh, shares um, with this uh, update gives you an idea of what's being of what's being shared. <coughs> So um, um, the the um, 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 the Predator Free Twenty Fifty um, Limited Company is a, um, a, a crown-owned charitable company. Um, it's um, it's developed under what's a Section Four A um, company under the Public Finances Act. Our shareholders are the Minister of Conservation and the Minister of Finance, and then we have a, a, an independent board. Um, that reports to the ministers and 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 directs the company. We are a, a key enabler of the um, of the predator free free mission, but this is really the classic uh, uh, dilemma. Um, there's no one uh, agency, player, uh, department, um, group that can actually do this on on their own. So um, um, it has to. Great. Yeah, I've had a request from someone um, that you actually run your. Um, slideshow so that they can see um, the main slide like that. Is that is that showing? There we go. Yes. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Um, there we go. Thank you. Um, wasn't sure if it was showing. All right. Good stuff. So so you, you you can see the whole screen now filled with that um, with that uh, mountain river image with the ferns. Hi. Okay. Good stuff. Thank you. <clears throat> so um, uh, the the important part there is a key enabler. We're not the the sole one. We work. Uh, the Department of Conservation has got a, um, a crucial role. Uh, regional councils all involved. Landowners, iwi. Um, it it really is the it really is is a collective effort. Um, the work we do supports Tamano Tataro, the biodiversity strategy, and um, several other uh, government policies and uh, frame and, and and frameworks. We've got four um, um, impact um, areas. Um, a crucial one is, is proof of concept, demonstrating that it can be done. It's, um, so that's a, a key question as um, that was asked at the time, can we, can we do it? Um, a lot of our work at the moment is, is demonstrating that it can be done. It's also around developing new tools and breakthrough science um, to show that it's achievable, um, how to do it quicker, faster, and more efficiently. Um, um, and it's developing new um, as we learn more about the uh, the, the 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 whole system, um, the species, the, the connectivity and interactions. Uh, developing new ways of of of, of achieving eradication, and then our final one is around uh, com community engagement and 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 well-being, and that's a part we work very closely with the uh, Predator Free um, New Zealand Trust, who based in 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 Wellington. Um, you may have seen this um, this ecological invasion curve. Um, it's a classic S-shaped curve, and um, the the point um, in the graph that's sort of on the left on the left hand hand side where where where, where time and area sort of meet. That's that effectively that, that grace period where you don't have um, an an, un, an an unwanted species um, in your in your environment. Now, this could be a human issue, like, like uh, uh, so COVID is, is, is quite topical recently, uh, currently, or it could be some uh, some other um, species that, that affects biodiversity or or or, um, or, 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 um, or primary industries, for example. Um, you, you, um, in that time, you've got a little window to be able to get rid of it. You want uh, you want to prevent it occurring there. And there as the slide, as the scale start, starts to increase with 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 density. Or with with the area, so it's the number of animals, or or the spread of those animals. Again, you have a period that you can start to contain it and keep it in a certain site or a or, um, or a density at a, at a certain a certain level. Then you get to a stage where um, actually it's just too big. It's too big. It's too uh, it's too, it's too dominant. Um, and there are a few weed uh, weed weed species around um, the, the Wataki ranges that that might ring a bell with. 
So then you get into um, system of long-term management. Now the the most expensive part um, is always the early the early part, uh, and then um, as you um, as you get into the uh, the uh, the long-term management, then cost generally comes down, but it's in for a long haul. So cost per annum per hectare is, is normally lower, but uh, but but that per annum part just keeps on going. It's a gift that keeps on giving in many respects. Um, what this um, uh, program er eradication is all about is actually reversing that um, is reversing that curve. So we're not starting um, in the containment area, which is the easy, e relatively easy part. We're starting at the long-term management part. Um, stoats, possums, um, and um, and rodents are um, all well established, widespread, high, den high densities. You know, they're everywhere. So it, what we're trying is really is um, is really difficult. Um, it's complicated, and we're trying to reverse. We're trying to reverse time, as it were. So um, in, in doing this, we, we've effectively got uh, four management options available to us. Well, we can do nothing, uh, in which case our biodiversity levels will uh, continue to decline. Um, the, everyone in the meeting will, will be we're sort of well conscious that we're, we do have a biodiversity crisis. So we can continue to do nothing and our crisis will just exacerbate. Um, or we can suppress densities. Um, and you'll get hopefully get them to a point where um, some um, species can coexist uh, if, if, if numbers um, are are low enough. And you sort of you would have typically heard of a of a two percent RTC or a five percent RTR, something like that. Um, those are numbers at which uh, native native species can survive um, uh, in the in the in the presence of a particular um, uh, pest, or in, in this case, um, uh, possum, stoats, or uh, more rodents. You, uh, you can eliminate them at a, at a local site or you can eradicate them from a much larger area. Um, but with, with um, um, elimination and, and suppression, you're, you, you're effectively holding the line. You, 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 the costs um, start to de decrease over the time, but, it's, but you will get invasion. You will have to, have to, have, uh, you will have to manage. Um, whereas with, with eradication, the intention is that they're gone and your, um, and your uh, uh, protection work is at, is, um, is at the border, keeping, keeping them out of the country. That's, that what, that's what we're after. Um, the company's progress over the last um, uh, several years has, 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 has really um, been quite remarkable. We've, we started in, um, in um, uh, the company started in 2017, right at the end, and initiated, uh, initiated uh, expression of interest. And then um, around about 2018, various projects um, were, were initiated, and we had five to, to, to start off, off with. The closest one to Waitaki Ranges um, was, on, was on Wahiki Island. Um, and um, and then there was one uh, for from the Mahia Peninsula in Taranaki, two in Wellington, and one in Dunedin. Um, then uh, we had we had a, a boost of funding through the Provincial Growth Fund, uh, and that uh, enabled um, uh, Whangarei uh, to get going um, around um, another one around Fakatani uh, with Ngāti Awa, and um, uh, one at with West Coast Regional Council. At um, at uh, Takinga around Lake Brunner, uh, but that but that funding also enabled us to invest um, uh, in 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 a new program around tool uh, tool development, and and I'll touch on that. Um, so we've we now got um, uh, nineteen projects, although that figure says twenty. But since that date, uh, we did withdraw funding from for, from for, from one project. And um, around about uh, eight hundred um, and and forty thousand um, um, he he hectares under under um, under eradication. Yeah, so, so th this map gives you an idea of where the projects lie around the country. The, the project that we um, uh, withdrew funding from was um, was Durville Island, and uh, and the the reason for that is the project looked like it was going to become a long term suppression project. Uh, without, without without full access to the island, so um, the, the company um, withdrew funding there until that um, that issue can 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 get resolved. Then it's open to uh, to to um, to uh, a refunding um, request. So that gives you a reasonable spread um, of of projects, but 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 they're all absolutely different. As you can see in this sort of summary, um, all of our projects um, uh, vary in size, they vary in, in species that they're targeting. Um, but, but they're all offering something different. Um, they're all uh, unique, they're novel, 
um, and they're all, 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 all um, they're all ambitious. You can see um, how the 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 the, the hectares has increased over over time. The, the mix has increased over over time. And we've now got several projects that are bordering on the hundred thousand hectare um, a range, which is which is a fairly is a fairly sub substantial landscape to work with. Uh, one of those projects is actually um, scoped to increase up to 650,000 hectares um, over, over time. But let's, let's make no mistake, that's not going to be done by lunchtime. That's a, that's, that's a, um, a long-term project that's going to take a while to, to, you know, to get up, up to that level. But that indicates the scale and the ambition that people are now thinking about. And that's, um, that's a fantastic thing. Um, if we knew how to do this, uh, we wouldn't be doing these, these projects. But a critical part is actually us learning how to achieve eradication on the mainland using the current tools and stimulating new, a new tool development, new innovations, new thinking. Um, this is applying a different uh, way of doing eradication than the Department, has done so, Department of Conservation has done so successfully over time on, um, on islands. Um, we, we're doing this work. Uh, and we, I use we in this case, as, as a bit of a royal we, if you don't mind. It's um, that it involves uh, communities, landowners, iwi, uh, regional councils, local councils, all working together. It's a real big consortium. And it's being done um, in areas where people live, work and play and without really in, in, interrupting what they're doing. And that's a critical difference. We haven't, been, haven't had the ability and don't need to remove people from, from, from that area. We're doing it with them, with them as they go about their daily lives. So some, is, so some of the highlights of the um, of our landscape projects so far is that um, um, our, our first our first tranche um, in, so involved uh, um, Hawke's Bay, Wellington, and Taranaki and Waiheke, um, and they are well on their way to achieving their their, their eradication um, um, outcomes. Um, it's arguable that one or two are are, are there, um, but. The uh, proof of our absence is a really important part. It is, there's such strong interest on demonstrating that we can do it. We have to be absolutely sure that there is nothing left. Um, so we, 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 uh, we're a little bit, bit um, guarded in, in, in terms of doing that, um, because it's if, if we if we get that wrong, it's a it's a big um, um, it'll, it'll be a big statement to to scare away um, investors. So you know, being, erring on the side of caution is really is really critical. Um, uh, Wellington and the Miramar Peninsula haven't had um, Norway rats or stoats effectively eradicated. There are a couple of, of ship rats um, that are that are are, are avoiding um, to, uh, capture. Um, in Taranaki, there's, a, there's roughly a thousand hectares of of, of farmland um, uh, on the uh, uh, Makataki that's um, that's free, and um, closer to home, Waikiki Hiki as well on the on uh, on on the way to eradicate stoats in, in the last stages of that. Um, and then um, Hawke's Bay, the same for, for possums and um, starting to look at, um, at other things, uh, others, uh, at other species. Um, a really crucial um, part for us as a company is the, uh, the involvement of, um, of iwi hapu. Um, it's, uh, it's absolutely imperative um, for us that um, 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 the, the, the project um, as a minimum, has um, the support um, of 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 mana whenua, um, but ideally and increasingly so, they are actively involved across the across the um, the project at all levels, from governance to deployment in different 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 parts. We have now got um, three iwi led projects um, uh, at, um, for the Kapra, um, uh, at at Fakatani and in Wakaramana. And uh, one is currently um, um, heading towards Novation, and that's on on Grape Area. So, um, so hopefully we'll we'll have four iwi led projects um, soon. In terms of um, breakthrough science, uh, so one 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 of our goals is is, is on achieving a, um, uh, a a science solution. Um, um, and we've done some work around um, understanding uh, genomes, uh, the genome sequencing. We've done some work to understand what's really inside our target our target species. There's a there's 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 a difference between um, breakthrough science and um, and business as usual BAU science, um, and um, and we're almost unique in that in that space. Whereas the majority, were all um, of the uh, crown research um, uh, players, uh, the university etc., tend to uh, are focusing on BAU uh, research. Um, the um, um, 
there's there's obviously huge potential around application of genetics, but we've got to be really careful uh, around how we do this. Um, make sure people uh, understand it is really uh, what it is we're looking at and what we're not. Um, and, um, and there's a long way to go between what's possible in a lab and uh, and what's what might be uh, tried some somewhere else is that uh, those are huge those are huge gaps but this under trying to understand what is what is what is possible is is, is quite different to understanding we're taking that that through and, and actually applying it uh we have invested in 17 um science projects uh and including um some some post uh, doctoral uh, fellowships but it's all around stimulating that uh, that um uh that that detailed science uh, research work just some examples here. Um, um, the uh, uh, science around uh, understanding what's in the animal, for uh, correlating that with uh, with with thermal uh, detection. Um, we've we've done the uh, uh, the um, genome sequencing for um, ship rats and stoats, and um, uh, and we've um, uh, done some other uh, um, um, research around the um, uh, data uh, data standard. Although that's not quite as exciting as the other as the other material. Um, we have just um, in March this year we announced some um, funding for uh, tactical um, genetic uh, control. So that's is a multi-agency uh, um, uh, a project coordinated by uh, Gen Genomics um, Aotearoa, um, and um, and that's looking to see if what, what was learned overseas um, in advances uh, of producing um, mass of a single sex, whether that can be applied um, in 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 a rat in um, in in a rat pop in a rat population in New Zealand. In terms of of tool development, um, we uh, with the provincial growth fund, we were able to establish a um, um, a program to, to developing um, new products that landscape projects can can use to, to try and um, close the loop around um, new new tools. Um, and we've got six of those on the shelf already, um, and, um, and 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 there are, are twenty that are due in the next in, in, in the next um, in the next uh, um, in the next two years, four of which should be on the shelf by the end in, in, end of this year. So again, trying to um, get that balance of not only trialing it in the field, but actually listening and working with uh, projects, um, trialing um, uh, new new things, merging what we're learning in the um, from a research perspective into new tools, working with innovators, and um, and bring and bring it together. There are some products now that people take for granted, and um, and it's great. But the, a lot of these, a lot of this came out of the investment by the company of, of a wee while ago. So just um, some uh, quick, some some quick um, examples. Um, Sue might be able to touch on some of these and, um, from 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 her time. Um, hammer force is uh, using it um, as a said hammer with the um, um, a, a, a nail gun technology to get a a, a, a killing device um, based off that. Um, uh, thermal imaging cameras um, they're now used um, used uh, quite uh, widely and um, auto dispensers um, and how those projects actually worked with several others to be able to merge their parts together uh, which has been fantastic to observe long life lures it's one of the products um, that um, uh, boffer miskel developed and is now on, on the shelf um, and delightfully it sold out in the first couple of weeks but um, anyway product, the product is now there such as the demand um, the um, 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 auto traps uh, based in Fagtani's, um, uh, their um, traps are, are, are proving very efficient. And um, and again, um, a lot of the devices they're working on really is um, at, a, at a beta stage, but um, we haven't got the time to, to test and retest and um, go through a um, um, whole lot of behind the scene testing so that you get the, the perfect product when it hits, hits, hits the market. A lot of the developers are actually working act actively with uh, with projects, taking the feedback where things haven't worked, um, uh, modifying, putting it back out, making the product better. So you've got this, uh, this sort of iterative continual improvement all the time. Um, and Norb Mard is one we've um, working with Auckland Council on. Uh, and some um, trials have just have just occurred uh, over the last uh, few months, and, and very very uh, positively so, 100% 100% um, uh, um, success rate. Um, um, another product which we're quite ex uh, excited about is this is uh, this aerial uh, device, uh, which is fully fully biodegradable. Um, 
and um, uh, Good Nature are working on the, on on this and um, effectively. So uh, um, aerial aerial application, um, a rodent would uh, would would put its head inside there to get the uh, bait, trigger it, and the um, and the uh, band around it um, is, is is sprung over over its head and asphyxiates the animal. But um, that would um, uh, enable a really quick deployment of um, of 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 um, humane effective uh, traps in a in a non in a non toxic uh, non toxic manner. Yeah, um, a couple of observations um, as we, as we as we head out. Um, so, so all of our projects are um, are are, um, are are ambitious. They're all different to each, to each other in the way that they're going about their business. Well, there is some uh, sharing. There's a lot of actually a lot of sharing of of learnings and what's working and what's not. Um, and actually, the what's not is often more is more valuable. So it stops others um, trialing it and wasting well, wasting time. Uh, the way they deliver the, the project is different, and all of that really reflects the people at that place. What works for them. So, so the designs are um, are slightly different, um, reflecting a lo a, a local arrangements. Technique counts. Um, 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 eradication requires high precision and hard and and, and hard discipline. There's, there can be uh, the um, uh, the difference of success and failure in in in, in the placement of a, of a device a meter from the wrong from from where it, it should be. It's all around getting. A device um, or, or 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 a bait into an animal's home range, and if you get that wrong, uh, and the animal doesn't get it, you may not get another chance. So uh, discipline and precision is really really important. Um, size counts um, because eradication requires defendable boundaries. At this stage, um, um, if you've got a long thin uh, boundary of a small area, uh, then you're going to be spending a lot of time defending or defending any any achievements. In fact, you you possibly might not even achieve eradication through invasion. So size is definitely important, but there's a balance of being overly ambitious um, and and picking an area that you can't defend. So there's 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 a balance to uh, strike there. Um, expect the unexpected. Something will go wrong. Um, you, you can you, um, you can expect that it. it's not that it's particularly gone wrong. It's just that something hasn't um, worked as planned because of the difference in that environment compared to somewhere else. I said every environment's different, uh, and that makes makes the difference between um, um, uh, successful failure really. And you've got to be agile and ready and ready for that. You've got to be um, um, innovative. You've got to be thinking about um, how can you get that last uh, that last an uh, um, that last animal. One of the greatest um, um, uh, treasures we can we can have in our field teams is that they have a curious mind. They want to know why. Um, if a trap's not if, if a trap is not being being effective, why? What might change? And that doesn't mean to say that you need to um, wholesale change the approach. But if you tinker with it slightly and just change the dial, uh, that you know, you might get to that to that magic point. But it's a curious mind around why. Um, uh, uh, um, um, I mean, eradication and suppression are completely different to each to, to each other. If you don't treat them differently, um, if you you will have a large scale suppression project, and wonder why you're not eradicating species. Um, they, they are they are different. You can't, you you can't necessarily go from a suppression project and put in more traps and think you're going to eradicate something. It requires a different mindset, a different approach. You must treat them uh, differently. Um, as as our experience and um, um, and the um, interest in the tools start coming out, we're starting to increase the this, the size of, of projects as I mentioned now up to 100,000 hectares and so. Um, so we're going we're going from from small patches um, of of eradicated area, um, a couple of islands or so, uh, into large landscapes um, that 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 sort of um, have sways through the, through the, through through the environment. Um, uh, DNA, DNA analysis is, is proving incredibly efficient um, and exceptionally, value, exceptionally valuable. Um, uh, for example, we've learned uh, from analysis that um, on, on Waiheke, the potential for, for stoat re reinvasion is, is very low, simply because the um, diversity um, um, of DNA is, is very low. Essentially, it was a, um, a small population that founded um, Several generations ago, um, one or two um, invasions probably introduced 
uh, with un unintentionally, but 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 that's been the um, but that's been the um, the founding populations remained like that. So they haven't been uh, new animals of any of any sub uh, of any um, significance coming onto the island. The animals are breeding with with the siblings and the cousins uh, rather than getting new stock. So because of that, we have confidence that if you, any any new animal coming in is probably going to be uh, brought in um, on on some uh, man uh, a man enabled um, uh, a vessel or or, um, or a or a vehicle on a vessel or something, um, but it's going to be largely man man caused man man generated. So that gives us a, lot, a gives us a lot of confidence. We are finding um, some animals are are um, arboreal. And uh, we didn't really know this until uh, we learned about uh, ship rats in, in Miramar, where there are little pockets of uh, ship rats that are not coming to the ground for the uh, for anything in their life cycle. And this was this is essentially new in, in, um, sort of new in, information to us, um, because we always assumed that ship rats would come down to the ground at some point. Uh, until um, someone was speaking to somebody um, from Guam, um, who, who also learned the same, this, this, uh, the same, um, the same thing, but no one wrote it down, so there wasn't any um, any 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 evidence in any literature about this. Um, um, how we uh, um, how we now respond to that is an interesting uh, dilemma, which the um, uh, the Wellington team are trying to work out: is how do you get a, a lethal a device or or a, or a, a bait into uh, that ship rat's um, home um, home range where you can't literally climb up a ladder and put it there. How do, um, how do you do that? Um, we've also got um, some individual uh, possums in, um, in in Taranaki that are spending um, a significant part of their life cycle in trees, not coming not coming down. So how do you how do you in, encounter that animal in a way that you can um, uh, you know, uh, you know, dispatch it? There's there's some relationship um, between um, incline and aspect of devices and device success. Now, we've, generally, people have always known that some devices are much more efficient. You, you get a gold star um, trap that just has a higher uh, strike rate and a higher effectiveness rate than others. We haven't been able to work out why, but there seems to be something around um, so, um, how that trap is physically placed on the land in terms of uh, aspect and and um, and and its incline, its, its bearing. Um, when we can work, when we can work that up, we're hoping to be able to get to a point of, of okay, that's the that's the uh, optimal range, and then you can adjust the, um, the uh, that uh, that landscape uh, that that placement of that trap in that landscape accordingly, either by uh, leveling it out or uh, the, the place out or um, or, or tilting it um, in, in some way. But there's some there's something in there that we need to explore. We we do have a labour market issue, um, where um, as quick as projects have have got going, we're now starting to have a shortage of of competent and and um, and, and experienced personnel at, at all levels. So whether it's as trap technicians or um, GIS um, GIS operators to op op operations managers, etc., we are um, in some respects now constrained by our ability to to get competent people on. We're starting to find different business models around um, um, how we do that, and, and this links to the design and costings of uh, projects. So the, the previous uh, eradication model was so based on the on the department's um, work on, on islands, and that was exceptionally successful. Um, but now, how do we apply those those models into the mainland? Uh, the different models that are, that that are starting to come to to come to come through, and um, we'll be um, looking looking to publish some white papers in the, in the next wee while. But costings um, per he hectare seem to vary somewhere between um, two thousand dollars and and around three hundred. So there's, there's quite a quite a big range, um, but that's largely uh, through a combination of species, but also the the methods um, uh, that are employed at that place that people that, that people want. We're striving to get um, our cost per hectare down to about two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, that's what we that's what we're after. We don't think we're too far away from it. But as I mentioned, not 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 the cheapest and most efficient method is not always the method that's that, that's desirable at a particular place. And of course, there's the cost to um, to maintain and, and again and we start starting to to find that that's around about ten dollars to ten to eleven dollars a hectare, uh, which is then not not um, um, uh, too 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 much of a stretch to to maintain. So looking ahead, when we started out, um, 
we, the collective, started out in 2018, um, uh, 17, 18, around how we would get uh, New Zealand clear by 2050. The, 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 gen, the generally held approach was that uh, New Zealand um, uh, is um, uh, 26 million he hectares, divide that by 32 years or thereabouts, and if we target 800,000 hectares per annum, uh, then, then, then it'll all be hung hunky-dory. We'll, we, we, um, you know, we'll get to midnight in 20, the end of 2050 and we'll be clear. The, the, but the reality is, is that the, the, that doesn't occur. It's not a straight line. Um, uh, New Zealand physically is, is not a, you haven't got those straight line geographies. So we're, we, we, we're now in this model where um, uh, once the, uh, the, the initial work of the uh, initial investment of, of the company got going, there were um, so, uh, five or six projects that were up um, and that, that, uh, that got us off, off the mark. Uh, then Jobs for Nature, uh, funding came through. There was a, 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 um, another uh, in, um, increase in the provincial growth fund came through. There's an increase in projects, and we're now at that um, second uh, plateau point of we we have probably got enough projects across the landscape to demonstrate proof of concept and make our initial learnings. However, there are uh, potentially one or two more projects around the country. Um, that we we might uh, consider investing in if they um, answer. Uh, and uh, answer new questions or questions that or, uh, provide knowledge that we don't currently have. That's that's critical to to the to to the to the to the last to the major push. Uh, then we'll go into the um, uh, into the second stage around um, between 2025 and 2030 with with, um, uh, with with some more projects, a couple more, and and again a fine tune um, how to how to do this. We'll start doing do, doing the modeling. Information will be coming out of the first um, of the first five years, and um, we'll start to be able to, be able to model um, how we're going to deploy the um, uh, uh, the the national rollout to take us through to uh, twenty to to twenty fifty. So if you look at um, um, as a as a pie, the amount of effort um, in the, in in the, in, the, in this current in this current phase, we're spending a lot of time on around in, um, innovation. Yes, there has been some acceleration. And we, um, of, of 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 land land act, uh, projects on the ground, <coughs> excuse me, um, and we've uh, worked with the with the trust and others to um, and councils um, uh, to, um, um, to to mo to mobilise people um, um, to mobilise people and communities around support and activity. If we look at the uh, it's the next stage, this this the, um, the second stage, they're starting to get a little bit 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 more of an e even spread around um, um, in innovation and um, acceleration. So it's starting to do more on the ground as well as um, still innovating, trying learning, um, so that we have we 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 have a pretty good idea of of what works. What um, uh, we've learned the lessons. And um, then for our, fi our final push, we've then focused most of our, our, our investment um, on, 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 on that acceleration point to accelerate uh, landscape projects around the country. Um, so looking ahead, um, uh, our focus for, for, for the next um, year or so is going to be supporting um, the projects that we have to uh, deliver the, the, um, the eradication outcomes. And yes, I spotted the, um, the typo. Don. Um, so we need to secure uh, non-government co-investment. This is an expensive business. It's going to cost us about um, 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 eight billion dollars. Um, so if anyone's feeling uh, f f um, a, a, a touch of generosity, um, please send us a check. Um, so eight billion dollars is the target. Um, but we're going to need to um, start uh, securing uh, that, that 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 additional funding, we, um, and and some some of that will, quite a bit of it possibly will need to be um, from offshore uh, philanthropic sources. We will be as a modelling that strategic rollout strategy, um, strengthening our, our project support. So we are doing everything we can to make sure that they are successful and try and extract. Every last learning we can out of all the or out of all the uh, projects, so we don't have to uh, reinvent it. We know how to how to do this to go on. Support uh, Māori aspirations um, and uh, back uh, research and product and product development. So this um, this this all or this all fits together. And then and then finally uh, look at um, capacity and and uh, and uh, um, capacity and capability, and then and, and and then public support, so we can, we can carry on for uh, several more years to come. Thanks very much. I'd be happy to take any questions.
Thank you, Brett. That was awesome. Hey, look, I've noticed that we're actually um, well over time, but I actually did want to take this um, time to just ask um, some questions. We might have to ask some of these um, or get you to respond in the chat or um, perhaps go back to people directly. Um, but I'm going to quickly go through this and because uh, it's just an, an honour to have you here with us tonight, Brett. Um, so if you could just very quickly, like even a one sentence answer would be great. And I saw one from Sandra Coney, which is quite dear to my heart. Why predator free as opposed to pest free? Our pest, pest plants as pest plants are a particular problem in the Auckland region. Yeah. Um, 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 uh, Sandra, um, uh, uh, it's, I think it comes down to a cost um, cost element. Weeds, we can we can deal with um, predators uh, much much faster than we can with weeds. Um, uh, some weed species uh, to be achieve eradication is is, is an eighty year uh, um, project for, for just individual individual species. The complexity is significant, um, significantly Great. different. Yep. Uh, here's another one from Michelle. Is uh, mainland Auckland project considered to be achievable, considering it doesn't have natural um, defendable boundaries as islands do? Uh, yes, if you look at it um, from the harbour, from uh, from the harbour bridge with a little narrow um, through the Faroe River uh, up to a, a lighthouse up, up north, uh, that's that's defendable. Uh, I've got a question here from Maya. What period of time without pest animals means they've been eradicated? Uh, the old theory was two was two years with with technology and cameras um, that could now uh, now down to to several months because the monitoring is on, ongoing. So we're seeing we're seeing that right. reduction. I wonder why invasive. Uh, this is from Sam Kutchi. I wonder why invasive wasps are not included in the predator free initiative, especially since the technology for controlling them seems to be well developed. Yeah, um, uh, I think it's a, a case of too many species too fast. Um, you, lo you lose focus um, over right. time. I think it'll change. Where do you see predator proof fences fitting into the national plan? Example is proposed for the Wainui Amata Forest Park. Yeah, that's a, in, it, in itself is a fantastic uh, project and has got great potential for, for, for kakapo, et cetera. But uh, for us, our ambition is, is fence free. Why are tools lures that are developed with um, pest free 2050 limited funding um, by commercial companies not now only available at very commercial prices? For instance, Poa Uku and AT220. Um, uh, because the the investment of the company was to was to develop it, not to we don't subsidise the individual devices. Are the rubber bands biodegradable? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, the 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 entire device is biodegradable. I wonder how they can tell rats never come to the ground. Cameras, the effectiveness of of, of cameras uh, are watching right the way around the tree. It, we know they're there. We can detect them. We can't see them coming down. How important is it to obtain social license to facilitate projects where technology is being used that is regarded by some as dangerous to humans and having excessive negative impacts or effects on, yeah, having yeah, excessive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the social license at that place, at a particular place with, um, by the people that live, work and play there is, is critical. Uh, it's a local project and, and managed uh, locally. So what's acceptable to them uh, it could be quite different to what's acceptable uh, several uh, several thousand kilometers away. Is there a pre is there pest free 2050 funding for re incursion pest free areas? Example, recent stokes on Mutitapu Island and the huge cost to eradicate. Yeah, um, uh, we we're currently dealing uh, with that with that very topic um, uh, with the, with the first transfer projects uh, that that have that have come have come through. So that's a is now a topical discussion that's underway. Okay, that could be similar to this. How is the social and political aspects of um, pest free NZ progressing? Exceptionally well. Um, uh, we have multi party support in 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 the house. Um, uh, all political parties have have um, 
have um, in the man manifestos have, have, have included support and increased funding uh, and public support is just growing all the time and it's now mainstreaming. What's the plan to deal with the predator prey relationship and learn from say ho turu eradications? Yeah, uh, that's 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 continual. Uh, we are learning um, from that, so we feed into. We have joint discussions, sharing and knowledge, and those interactions um, with with the Department of Various Restoration Trusts around the country, so that we we can actually learn from that. The number of inter of um, of, of concurrent species eradications and, and some of uh, some uh, non predatory species is is increasing at the same time. Uh, does Pest Free 2050 Limited have capacity for any further projects prior to 2025? Uh, yes. Any legal or legislative initiatives being considered? We we we, um, we input into uh, regional uh, pest pest management plans. And in some cases, we have um, we have advocated and been successful in in getting those plans um, amended to protect the to protect the investment. Look, I just um, one final question from me. I noticed that some of the funded projects included feral cats, hedgehogs, feral pigs, and wallabies. Are those included within the funding for Predator Free Twenty Fifty Limited? No, they're they're, they're not particularly um, 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 in our um, they're not particularly specifically in our remit. But um, to mention, we have we have projects that are doing those concurrent species. And there's a there's there's a, an, 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 there's an, an efficiency um, in doing that. So by targeting uh, possums, uh, rats, and stoats, for example, and then adding on one or two um, uh, other species, the, uh, the cost benefit is, uh, is significant and, and attractive. Cool. Look, um, I'm actually going to um, uh, end us 